a ball is thrown across a playing field from a height of five feet above the ground at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal at a speed of 20 feet per second. It can be deduced from physical principles that the path of the ball is modeled by the function. Look, function in everyday life. Let's continue. By the function y equals negative 32 over 20 squared times x squared plus x plus 5, where x is the distance in feet that the ball has traveled horizontally, find the maximum height attained by the ball. Find the horizontal distance the ball has traveled when it hits the ground. Some very sweet mathematician has already done the hard work for you. They've already figured out the function for you. You don't even have to do much math here because you're going to use your graphing calculator. But you need to understand what they are asking. Someone is going to throw this ball up. And they gave me all this information about the angle in which they're going to throw it and the speed. And they just want me to know how high the ball will get and how far the ball will travel before it hits the ground. They said x is the distance in feet that the ball has traveled horizontally. I just need to vision that my distance horizontally, my x, is the distance the ball will travel. So on my x-axis, the everyday comparison is the distance that the ball will travel. Will the ball get to the batter? Now, whether or not the ball gets into the strike zone is another question. And I want to know how high the ball goes. Well, in the math world, we know that as the y-axis. That is the height of the ball in the everyday world. And you thought math was not in the everyday world. Plug this function into our calculator. So thank goodness we have this technology to use. We have this mathematician that gave us this formula. All we have to know is how to read this graph. Let's get to work. OK, so here we go. We have our calculator. I want to graph a function. I'm going to plug in this function. I go to my y equal button in the far left. And I've already typed my function in. Now I made this a little bit easier to type in that 20 squared in my function. I went ahead and changed that to 400, so I would not have to be so careful with my parentheses. But I did make sure 32 divided by 400 was in the parentheses times x squared. If you type in 32 divided by 400x squared, then that's not a calculator error. That's a user error. You have to make sure you have your fraction together, the 32 divided by 400, and then all of it is times x squared, and it is negative. OK, so now let's graph it. The graph button is over here to your right. And there is my parabola. You can't see it all. But yes, little did you know, there are parabolas in our everyday life. We just don't know it. Well, I need a better viewing window. This window, my x's start at negative 10. They go to positive 10. My y start down here. The math word for that is range. And they start at negative 10, and they go to positive 10. Well, our life is not made up of negative 10s to positive 10s. So how far do we think we can throw this ball? Let me fix my window. I know I'm not going to throw it a negative distance. I hope if I throw it, I throw it somewhere. But I'm leaving negative 5 there just so I can see my axes. And let's let our x's go up to 20. Do you think he can throw it farther than 20 feet? I guess so. I guess it depends on how old he is. Or she is. OK, let's carry on. So our y man, once again, I'm not going to throw it under the ground, I hope. I'm putting negative 5 just so I can see my axes. And how high do you think they can throw it? 15 feet up, according to this formula. Let's graph it and see how our picture looks. Oh, that's rather a pretty picture. 
we won't look at this part of the parabola for everyday life. I won't look at me throwing it under the ground for this everyday life problem. But this part of our parabola is what we're looking at. So it starts at five feet up. That makes sense. I'm going to be standing up when I throw the ball. And it goes up, up, up. And this is one of my math problems I want to find, the maximum height. I want to calculate the maximum height. It's up here. It's my vertex in the math world. Calculate. Here's your calculate button. It's in blue, which means I have to hit the second button and then trace to get to my calculate screen. So second trace, I want to calculate the maximum. Hit enter. Now this is saying, are you on the left of the maximum that you want me to pick? So I'm using my cursor key to get a little bit to the left of what I see as the maximum. Hit enter. Then it's asking me, will you please go to a little bit of the right of the maximum? So I'm hitting my cursor key. And I'm going to hit, they're saying, is that the right bound? I'm going to hit enter. Then it's asking me, would you like me to guess the maximum for you? And I will say, better you than me. I'm going to hit enter again. And this is saying the maximum is 8.125 feet. That's the highest of all got. In the math world, this is my vertex. When x is 6.25, my y is 8.125. But I want to know the height, and that was my y. 8.125. Now I also want to know that after I throw the ball, and it goes and it goes and it goes, I want to know how far it went before it hits the ground. Well, when it hits the ground, y is 0, because it's on the ground. So that's this point right here, y is 0. The ball goes up, 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 and then it's on the ground. This is called our zeros. That's a good name for the zero, right? So I'm going to hit the calculate button again. So second trace is my calculate button. This time I want to calculate the zero. So I go down to two. I'm going to hit enter. And it says, well, get to your left bound. So I'm hitting my cursor key. And I'm going to get to a little bit left of my zero. So is that my left bound? Hit enter. Now it wants me to go to the right bound. So I'm going to get a little bit to the right of my zero and hit enter. And then it says, would you like me to guess? And I will say definitely. I will hit enter again. So when my y is zero, y is my height. When the ball hits the ground, the ball has traveled 16.327-ish feet because my x was the distance that it has traveled horizontally. So the maximum height that the ball will reach is 8.125 feet. The horizontal distance that the ball will travel is about 16.3 feet. So the next time someone asks you, when are we going to use this math in the real world? It's all around you.